The most important question you will ever ask yourself. What is your calling? The purpose of your life? Why are you here and not one of the other billions of sperm that raced with you? Now, I'm not talking about the callings that we get taught about at school. This calling is not limited to accountant, doctor, engineer, or head of design. I'm talking about the legacy that you will leave behind. The change in the world that others will find because you were here. What is your calling? Mine is simple. To be the best I can be and to do great things. With the hope to inspire others to do the same thing. For others to believe and to know that nothing is impossible, but rather that everything is I'm possible. That's why I won the race to the egg. What about you? What is the purpose of your life? Don't fall for the trap. You see, society will often beat down our dreams, but not away. It's up to you then to make sure your dreams get back and stay. As Will Smith once said, don't ever let somebody tell you that you can't do something. If you have a dream, you have to protect it. And yes, maybe your dream has faded, but that doesn't mean it's gone. And just because others don't see it for you doesn't mean that you're wrong. What is your calling? The purpose of your life? Now you might be thinking, what if I fail? What if I get rejected? What if I'm not good enough? And these questions are normal, but the answers are not truth. You see, these self-limiting stories that we told ourselves time and time again have become beliefs, but they are not truth. There is only one truth in life, and that is that we are powerful beyond all measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. Your playing small does not serve the world, as there is nothing enlightened by shrinking, so that other people don't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. It's not just in some of us, but in every single person. What is your calling? And to be honest, it's impossible to live without failing at something unless, unless you live so cautiously that you might as well not have lived at all. Don't let life, society, or your own fears get in the way. Instead, step back and say, I'm possible and I can do this. If you haven't found your calling yet, that's fine. But don't stop searching. Because the two most important days of anyone's life is the day that they are born and the day they find out why. So never stop searching. Never stop believing. Never stop reaching your potential. It's quite obvious to see that our environment has such an impact on who we are and how we come across. The input of the environment affects how we come out and the output of our lives. So surround yourself with positive people, like-minded people, people who will build you up.